Hello, Mr. Mister here. And I've just found out something pretty cool. Now, you know, I haven't been wide speed being much lately, but you know, I'm still looking for little things to help out. You know, because that's always cool. Now, um, I just figured out that you can rip Game Boy Advance tracks. Pretty sweet, huh? Alright. So first off, you need a little tool called GBA Music Ripper. I'll put a link to that in the description. And you need a ROM and command prompt. You can easily get command prompt by going to the start menu here. CMD. Go copy. Paste into the uh, bin directory. Paste uh, CMD into the bin directory of GBA Music Ripper, just like that, and also paste whatever ROM you want into there as well. Now, you go into CMD and you type in Java GBA MUS with capital M dot GBA Muz Ripper. Yes, I know that's spelled incorrectly. That's just how the programmer did it. Now, you just type in the name of the ROM you want. It shouldn't have any spaces or underscores because, for some reason, underscores don't work. For this example, I'll be using Sonic Advance. Sonic under Advance. Not underscore. What am I talking about? Advance. Dot. Be, hey, you need the file ender in there. Now you hit enter. It'll look for the Sappy music engine, which is the engine that most Game Boy Advance games run off of. But some games do not have a Sappy engine and therefore will not work. But a vast majority of them use the Sappy engine, so that's useful. Now, all this stuff will pop up. Just like that. That's literally the program uh, ripping, decompiling, and putting the ROMs into MIDI's. Now, what's even cooler is, first off, it makes a little directory in here. Open that up. Now, here's all of your songs. But, the best part of the program, by far, is this. It actually exports a sound font file for you to use. So you can listen to the songs with their original instruments. Now, there's another program called A-Wave Studio. I won't tell you how I got it. Just Google it. You take the SF2, drag and drop it into here, into A-Wave. Now you see all of the instrument banks and everything. But what we want to do, we're going to go save collection as Sonic A, I'll just call it, or Sonic Events. Dot Sonic Advance. Now, save as type, change it to a DLS. For, or you don't have to, depending on, well, you might, you might not, depending on what program you're using, but for the program I'm going to be using, which is Fruity Loop Studio, I'm going to have to save it as a DLS. So, I just go save. We'll say blah blah blah. Hit yes. Close that out. Now, open up FL Studio. And take one of the songs. I'm just gonna use song number 15. Accept. Just drag and drop it in. Now on Fruity LSD, go there, you hit that little file icon. Now you hit SonicAdvance.dls. Now. As you can hear, it uses the instruments that were originally from the ROM. So yeah, you just mute them. God, my part won't shut up. You can just mute them however you want. Then you just go... Quiet! Jeez. Just go file, export, Wave MP3 or OGG, whichever one you want. Do not export MIDI. That's stupid. 
and just important to Vegas or After Effects or After Effects or iMovie. Yeah. Uh, whatever program you use to make your Y2PMVs, songs, remixes, whatever. And that's it. It's really simple once you know the tools. Alright, 